All right, thank you back, everybody, for coming on to Cars Gone Wild. We're at uh, Texas Showdown 2021. I'm here with my friend Dave Schneider. He's going to tell us about his little bitty engine, if you can see right there. Tell us about this, Dave. It's a 1965 C10. Uh, the motor is a dart block. It's a dart heads. The gentleman in Pigeon Forge uh, Performance Machine Service built the motor. It's a stroked 427, six Stromberg, 671 blower. When you put the metal, the pedal, the metal to the pedal, do you go forward in time or backward in time? <laughs> forward. Oh, wow, because this is amazing. I would love to hear this sound, but uh, tell us a little bit more about what you've done. I've noticed you got this little piece here. Yeah, comes out the front. A guy in North Carolina did that for me. And then um, the firewall and the roof were done by Smithworks. And the bed of the truck was done. There's a uh, friend of mine over here, Eddie Gordy, that did all the work in the back of the uh, truck. Yeah, I don't think there's any angle in here that just doesn't amaze you. It's just incredible. All the, the detail you have, all the little ad, uh, little attitudes that you have. That's what I like to call them because you look at it, you just scream. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> there's stuff all over it. If you look, there's all kinds of hidden little... A little Easter egg. Yeah, 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 perfect, yeah. Something to look for. So you, every time you come back, you'll probably find something different. So. Well, what was your uh, initial concept for this build? To be honest, I just started doing... I had nothing really planned out it just kind of evolved on its own tell us about the uh, the, the suspension i noticed you have airlift uh, sticker on the front yeah i have their their system airlift and it's a uh, scott's hot rod front end and a uh, porter built back half it's it's the airlift uh system i like the i like the uh, the chrome bucket seats in there it's just amazing yeah they're pretty cool uh, they're comfortable yeah no <laughs> <laughs> it's for looks, right? Yeah. Gotta bring a pillow. For looks. The whole thing is for looks. That's about it. Yeah, they, tell us about the gear shifter. So Our gear shifter, turbo 400 back in it. That This transmission's actually burn up. <laughs> Picasso said he's never finished. He just has to stop. And I, I get that same sense here. Yeah, it'll never be done. Never. Uh, well, what was the latest thing you had? Uh, what was the latest thing you had done on? In 2019, that's I redid the motor. That's The roof was painted. The firewall was painted. It's got uh, Colorado custom wheels on it. All that stuff was done in 2019. Did you? SEMA. Uh, oh, wow. Did you drive it here from North Carolina or did you try tra trailers? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's enough asphalt you can throw. I couldn't afford the gas to drive it here. <laughs> how many, how long does it get? Like a minute? Yeah, not, not long. <laughs> wow. I can tell that it's a huge engine. Uh, let me see what, what else can we look at. No, on the inside. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, those are, I, I found those on Instagram. Uh, the guys, uh, Crafty B on Instagram made those, and I or made that, you know. He was selling. It's a nice little D. Yeah. Oh, that's, that kind of stuff, I love it. You know what, it's it's almost asking me to ask you, it's asking me, when are you going to add a trailer to this? Because you've run out of space in the evening to add anything. So you got to do like a camper trailer for this, right? Well, actually, um, I'm going to redo the interior. I'm changing up some stuff in the interior. I'm putting a little roll bar in it. We're going to do some uh, bead rolling under the dash and behind the seats and stuff. Originally, when did, when did you get the truck? This truck, it's probably been, I guess, probably about 10 years ago. I don't even remember, man. It was Originally, I, I got it just to be a put around and I had no plans to do this and then the old that motor blew up and so I was like hey, okay, you know and had the motor out put a front end under it put a back out and it just and then I mean, I've always been the kind if I got a vehicle I'm not gonna change anything out that works when it blows it's like hey now's an opportunity let's just do something thank you for watching carsgowild.com uh, I'm here with my friend Dave Schneider and his uh, Diverginator this is just an amazing car I, I, I I'm renewed this is amazing thank you so much I appreciate your help. And uh, check us out. Hit us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Showtime, HBO. Just don't hit anybody, all right? Be careful. Peace out. Bye.